Okay, so one of the common management practices we do in cattle operations is we want some kind of identification system so we can individually ID cattle. One of the things a lot of producers will use is a numbered ear tag that hangs down so we can read those and we'll actually look at one here in a minute. But one thing I wanted to show you was the ear tags themselves along with the ear tag guns. There's a couple different types of ear tags on the market, but the one that most people are probably familiar with is the two-piece dangle tag. So basically, we have the main tag with what we call a female component, and then we have the little male stud, and this is gonna go through the ear and piece together here. We actually have an ear, what we call an ear tag gun that we use that with, and this one, there's two different types here from the same company. This is the older model. It actually has what we call a fixed needle on it, and so if you're not careful, you could actually rip an ear on a calf when you go to insert it. This one actually has a breakaway needle, and so if the calf jumps or something, that needle pops back so we don't tear any ears. So I'll just demonstrate again. You can see that needle comes back so we're not demonstrating anything. And I say needle, this isn't actually gonna go into the animal. If we look at our ear tag button here, it has a solid tip on it that's used to puncture that ear and make the hole, and actually it's designed that way to help prevent infection. So we'll bring a heifer in here in just a second, put that in. Uh, I just wanted to show how to load that, so we put the male end on there, and then we put the female in there, and we're ready to go ahead and use this ear tag uh, to apply it to the animal here. One very important thing you wanna make sure is there's different brands of ear tag guns out there. You wanna make sure you buy the brand of ear tags that go with the gun you own. For example, if you buy all flex guns and then you have Y-Tex ear tags, they're not gonna work and you're gonna have some problems. So make sure if you're using Y-Tex tags, you have a Y-Tex gun. If you're using all flex tags, you have an all flex gun. Or if you're using another brand, that you have the brand of ear tags that match the brand of gun. All right, so we let the heifer come through. We'll actually let, let her take a step back before we put a squeeze on her. So now we have her squeezed, we have her caught. Uh, this is one area you wanna be careful around is working around the head because they sling that head, you can easily get yourself injured. So what we're actually gonna do here is we're gonna remove the ear tag, which is one thing you wanna do at the end of the fly season. Uh, each year to help avoid resistance, and then we'll demonstrate how to put another tag in as well. The easiest way to remove a tag that you no longer want is what's called an ear tag re uh, remover. It has a plastic guard on it with a blade inside, much safer than using a knife for both you and the calf. So we're just gonna grab the ear tag, we're gonna slide the cutter in, and just like that, we remove that ear tag. And now I have that hole that I could come back in next year and put another fly tag in if I wanted to. We're just gonna demonstrate with the blank ear tag here, but basically what I'd wanna do is get to the side of the animal so I'm at less chance of actually getting hit by them. I wanna grab the ear, and basically the ear has three ribs. We're gonna wanna place this tag in the middle rib. So I'm just gonna come in here behind, get it where I want, squeeze, and pull out, and I'm ready to go. Okay, and then I just want to, I just want to check and make sure that button went all the way through the tag and I'm ready to go. Now this heifer jumped around a little bit. That doesn't hurt that much. She just got excited. You can see within a few seconds, she calmed right back down. So when we go to put an ear tag in the ear, basically there's three ribs in the ear, a bottom rib, a middle rib, and a top rib. Ideally, we wanna put that tag in the middle rib. Now, normally I like to put my ear tags in the left ear, so when I'm working the chute, I can see those tags. For demonstration purposes, we just went ahead and put this one in the right ear. Also, if you have replacement heifers, typically you're gonna have a brucellosis tattoo. If they put that brucellosis tattoo in the middle rib, then for the ear tag, we wanna to go to the top rib or the bottom rib and not actually go through that brucellosis tattoo. 
The last thing we want to do after we put an ear tag in is look and just make sure that the button went all the way, the male portion of the button went all the way through the tag. Uh, it usually does, but it's just always good to double check that and look before you turn one out. 